passionate I work hard so when it pop it ain't on accident Yeah I'm always on go better watch your Hello loves welcome back I don't know if my gimbal is going to act right but basically I'm at the entryway which I'm trying to get open so I can actually show you all um so when you first come in there is basically no entryway which kind of bothers me but it's cool um so we're gonna go over to the left So I didn't do a review on this lock, but I did vlog about it. And this is the August Smart Lock, which is really helpful for my assistant to come in at any time or just for me to let my mom in if I'm not here or whatever the case is. So um, I like that. This little corner shoe rack I got from, um, matter of fact, I already mentioned that I wasn't going to do where everything was from because I'm going to have separate tours on that. So, um... Yeah, I decided to just put a corner rack here because I do come in the front door sometime and I needed somewhere to put my shoes. Um, and yeah, I just have some gold entryway decor, which honestly was just from my old room, well, not room, but apartment. So I just decided to keep it gold or whatever. But I want to go in the garage really quickly. We're going to come back into the office. Hopefully my gimbal does not act up. So my garage is not the best right now. It's still like a work in progress, but um, it's gonna get somewhere. I wanna close it because I don't want bugs to come in. So as you can see, I just packed my trunk with a bunch of boxes that um, that I had because I just had my housewoman party. So I wasn't like a lot of gifts and stuff like that. Um, so we'll start with the work outside. Basically, I'm gonna come from this way to get a little more light so I just still have more boxes over there my trunk cleaning kit um, I have this little shelf which was in my old laundry room or closet or something and I just keep like the jump rope waist trainers boxing gloves there um, this weight bench still has to be fixed so I just left the tools right next to it and yes these little mats have to be um, dusted but you know this is realistic right now I mean not right now but right here I have the punching bag and my dad did paint the garage for me so I have two black walls and then I have one white wall and this is the other side but we'll get there in a minute I know like some people like to see the overview before you know see the rest but this climber um I just had it from the old place um and then I put a treadmill in here and I just have what I wanted was a black accent wall to kind of showcase all the art. So this section was cute, but my mom, she cooked for my housewoman party. So um, I have like her stuff here and then some coolers. And right now, if my camera wants to get right, um, I do keep a fan in here because depending on what time I work out, it can be really hot. But yeah, this little shelf just has like bins and all that good stuff. So. On this side, just have some stuff that I have to take back to Spectrum. This is my trunk bag, but it's not in there right now because, again, packed it with trash. Got those solar lights as a gift, but I haven't put them out yet. And then, basically, this is where, like, you know, I do art. So, um, as you can see, I started this painting, which I want to put in my room. But once I finish it, I'll put it in there. I um, mean, I still have ample space on the wall to kind of get that done. Um... But let me close the garage and close my trunk. So if you want an overview from this way, I don't want to make this video too long. So that's why I'm not trying to spend too much time um, telling you guys where every single thing is from. I will have separate videos on that. So right here is another entryway. So if we come in from the garage, which I do that a lot as well, um, I just have this little shoe shelf here which just has this cute little sign, don't wanna go bare, as in barefoot, grab a pair of socks or slippers. So yeah, those are really comfortable too. And then I keep my slippers and those are like my paint and sneakers and some slides down here. And this mirror is here as well. So that's pretty much it for the garage. And this used to be in my kitchen. Once it closes. So yeah, it gets 
pretty dark in here once it's closed, but I do have another lamp over there. But let's go ahead and get into the rest of the house because y'all didn't come to just see the garage. And I think this video is already gonna be really, really long. So I wanna go ahead and get into it. So also this has like an entry comp called, <laughs> what was I about to say? Closet, which I just keep for storage. And um, yeah, you know, I keep my packages in here if I'm having to haul stuff or whatever the case is. But right now it just has like my suitcases and extra boxes and stuff. Nothing cute. So this is the office, which has a cute little thrifty sleigh sign. Um, and this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted the office separated from, um, you know, the upstairs just to kind of give myself and Trinity a separate space to work. So the office doesn't get um, a lot of light. So I'm just gonna turn on the overhead light. So um, as an overview, this is what it looks like. And then if I come in, so right now it doesn't look the most organized, but that's because we're doing a closet sale. So um, when you first come in, uh, I got this little, it's called a hallway, no, a hall tree. So this is just somewhere where Trinity can hang her purse, her whatever bags, her jackets, whatever, put her shoes on. That's simply what that was for, but that's my personal shoes on there right now. And we just have some packages that has to be picked up or picked up. Um, in her bathroom, I hate when people use her bathroom, but in here, and I'm looking crazy because I just was doing a lot of work, but um, I just kept it the same color as my old master bathroom or owner bathroom, whatever, owner suite bathroom. And yeah, so, you know, she uses a tub when she wants to wash the wigs and it's just um, pretty simple in here. So then this is Trini's desk here and we do have matching chairs. I like mine lower. So um, she decided that an L would be more beneficial because I was debating whether I wanted it to be back to back the desk or if I wanted them to be in an L shape. But yes, the L did offer more space in here. Um, so yeah, we just have the printer over there, her desktop, um, my desktop, and then a cute little simple gallery wall. And then this was a commission piece that my friend did for me. Um, so nothing too major. Again, I will have more specifics when I do individual room tours. So this is the lunch corner. And shout out to that calendar right there. Kirsten just got it from a housewarming gift. Well, part of it. Um, and then, yeah, I just have a microwave and a little tea coffee station on top of it. And a refrigerator beneath it. And what I love about it is this side over here, which has snacks, plates, whatever. Um... So yeah, I really like that over there. And then there's another lamp in here. So actually three lamps, four actually, because you know, sometimes we want light in different places, but oh, obviously there's a back door here as well. <laughs> um, Trinity typically keeps these blinds closed. I just opened them for the tour, but up there we just have some mannequins and then some wig making supplies, shampoo, extra bundles, whatever, sewing and stuff, um, you know, hair dye and all of that. So this table over here was my old makeup table, but I didn't want to just throw it away because I no longer needed it upstairs. So we decided to use it as the wig making station. And above it is this large whiteboard, which I guess it kind of helps us, okay? But um, yeah, I just have the sewing machine here. I haven't sewn a wig in a long time. I actually haven't really made a wig in a long time just cause I've been trying to get settled in. But she has this pink paper here right now because she's packing up closet sale orders. And then in this ottoman, we just have some extra um, hair stuff. But um, this is the closet where the water heater is at. People say it's not supposed to be anything in it, but we're gonna use it um, for storage. So. USPS boxes are here, and then over here is um, some armor bundles. So that's pretty much that. So.
so right now the garment rack is looking a little crazy um because i did just do a lot of hauls and i'm hosting a closet sale so yeah and then at the top is just some stuff that i have to send off um for a giveaway and yeah over here just extra like um paper my um journals are down there tape wig boxes you know wig package and stuff so that's pretty much all that's there and that's the whole office so like i said i'm gonna do individual tours but i just want to get through the house right now so going upstairs So off the steps is the half bath. So basically, I wanted it to be kind of naturals in here. This bathroom was small, so I did need a shelf for a toilet paper and extra stuff. You see Groot up there? He's so cute. So yeah, Groot tells people that they can use a hand towel if they want to. This plant actually died, but I like the leaves on it. Um, and yeah, under here, just some room spray lotion. This sign is from Walmart, but I'm not supposed to be telling you guys, but it just says walk by faith. And then um, I have the toilet, not the toilet, but the paper towel holder, hand towel. And lastly, this down here is a vase to the right, which we use as trash to the left is a natural vase that used to be in my old living room, but I didn't want this one, so I just put it in here. And I went label crazy with the um, bathrooms, of course. And this rug, I just really liked it for this room. Um, I saw it in Walmart, and this was one of the first things that I got done, this room and then the office. So coming out is the living room. Um, this living room is really large, and I did not know what to do with it. Um, it's like three separate areas in here and I love it so much. Just trying to give you an overview because people complain in the other tours about that. Um, it's not gonna be too bright from this way because I'm facing all of the light. But um, yeah, this is one of my favorite rooms. I love how it comes together. So we're gonna start basically from this way. And hopefully if I give you another view from the windows, you guys can um, see better. So over here, we just have this gold lamp, which was from the old place. I changed the shades um, to gray. They used to be beige. Then I have this bench, which is a housewarming gift from before. But like I said, we're not gonna go into all that. I'm not talking to you, sweetheart. But. Um, this gold mirror, definitely a statement piece. You can take selfies if you want, but my friend complained about not being able to take selfies, but I'm just like, it was just so cute. And it kept calling me. Like I saw some plain ones with the gold frame, but I just wanted that one. So all of my TVs were put up by a guy named Jarvis and I'll leave his info on the screen. He did such a good job, very professional, very timely and um, very fair as far as the price. I don't have a fireplace, so I knew I wanted a console that had one. So yeah, this is what this is looking like. Got two lanterns on the side, which don't look even right now, but <laughs> it's cool. This was a mistake that float and shelf was supposed to be beneath the TV so I can set the sound bar on it, but it's okay because it adds height to the room, um, to this area. It doesn't make everything seem like one level. But um, yeah, I just was burning that candle so it's sitting there. Then just have the blanket ladder and the bar cart over here. I have a lot of liquor on it right now because um, I was gifted some. So then back here, I just have this console table, which was at my old place and it's getting dark. You can't really see, but um, yeah, I just wanted it behind there. I didn't want it to be seen, but I wanted it to be useful. These tables just pull out when you're eating. And um, yeah, the ottoman is also used like a coffee table low key, has the four coasters in there. Um, you know, the circle chair, I love it so much. It's so comfortable. 
but I'll get into the issue with it once I do the individual room tours um, and then I have Robata over here which she vacuums and Kirsten got me back for my housewoman gift but yeah this chair was um the back was one they didn't deliver it inside like they were supposed to and then two the back was loose so I got a refund on this chair and I got to keep the chair so yeah um the theme in here was always going to be gray but I decided to add this blush pink and greens in here and gold of course so that's basically that part of the living room we want to come from the light so as you can see it is really bright in here which is why I'm able to film without studio lights um, yeah I love it so much so so much so let's get into the second part of oh and this wall I keep bare because I film over here sometimes most times rather so over here we have a dead plant but it's okay oh and another lamp because um I think it adds character I told my mom <laughs> I was like I think it adds character I like it my little dead tree so um if I can rotate this Uh, basically, I moved the gallery wall from over there because I put up curtains and it would kind of like not all fit. And I put it above this big old poof, which is a chill sack from Amazon. But I'll link it all down below. And I did do a separate unboxing and review of this poof or whatever. And let me say at the housewoman that five adults were laying on it and we were good, okay? So it is like the eight foot one. I thought it would be too big for this area, but as you can see, we still have a walkway to the window. So um, I just went to Home Goods and decided to add this little gray table and golden gray um, lantern. And then this lamp is pretty old from Target, but um, we'll get into all of that later on. So then over here is what we call the book nook. And again, because I'm facing the light with the camera, it's gonna be a little bit dark, so I do apologize. But um, yeah, this area right here, I love it. Um, it's the book nook, so <laughs> you know. Um, have the record player here. I'm gonna try to come from an angle to get more light. So this record player just happened to be pink and gold, which was perfect for my living room. I got it last Christmas from a friend, and um, I just have some speakers underneath, and of course, it was actually the table was brown but um we spray painted it gold and yeah just have some incense and stuff under there so then this is like the extra pile but then i have like my books or whatever and little knickknacks and speakers and books and my brother's degree my friend's degree over here more books my antique phone and basically that's it for this area and again i'm gonna go in detail in the other video that will be posted on my other channel so yeah the living room is like super spacious and i didn't know how i wanted to you know deal with all that space so coming around to the breakfast nook in the kitchen um this is my filming closet so yeah because I have two tables in here now from the party, but behind it is like, whoo chow. <laughs> so let's keep the table. And I just have more like, you know, my carrying bags or my lights, cameras and stuff, umbrellas for the lights. But that's pretty much that. So in here, originally I had it like gold, not gold, but mustard, yellowish and blue chairs two of each but i just really wasn't feeling it so i decided to go with the gray theme in here um and keep some of the aqua too um or teal which one do we want to call it whatever so on the table which has to be desperately desperately need to clean um i decided to go with a circle table because i knew i wanted a circle glass table and it had this chrome base these legs on the chairs were actually brown I spray we spray painted them silver or grayish and then the covers the chair covers are from um 
Target because I wasn't buying all new chairs. So on the table, I wanted, I knew I wanted glass dishes, but I didn't know like, I guess how, what shape, because I saw a lot of circles, but I love the square and then the square charging as well. And then this is a fruit bowl, but I just put napkins. I need a flower for my base. And then I just have like these containers, candle holders for the peppermints and this one for the kisses. And then that's pretty much it. I do have this faux tree back here. And this is the same paintings that were from my old place. So then this little area, um, so this little area is really just where people sit if they're watching you cook, talking to you, whatever the case is. Um, cause this is not an, I guess an open concept house where, you know, you can see the living room right from the kitchen. So, you know, you want to have space in here where people can sit and join you. Um, this painting is also from the old kitchen and I just liked it above the blue chair cause the blue and the yellow complement each other. Um, in this little section, I just have like, you know, my smoothie jars and like tea jars or cups or whatever. So that's pretty much that. Um, we'll get into it. As you can see, my countertops are really empty. Like, I, that was a goal for this place. Like, I didn't want them to be full, and that's why I asked for an over, um, what is it called, an over-the-range microwave, because, yeah, I just didn't want one on the counter taking up space. So, as you can see, definitely more empty than my old place, but that's pretty much that for the kitchen. Um, some of my requirements was definitely an ice maker, a pantry, this little basket here. I had a little trash over there, but this little basket found it at Costco the day before my house warming and it was perfect. So I had a bunch of mangoes in there, but I cut them up and freeze them. And I just have snacks, chips, and pot holders. So then this is the pantry, which I really took my time on. One of the first things I got done as well. Um, and we'll again have an in-depth tour of this on my other channel. So let's go upstairs because this is obviously gonna be a 30 minute video and I don't wanna make it any longer. So when you first come up to the left is the laundry room. Clearly I have to do laundry and this is here cause I cleaned up. But over here just have these dispensers with my liquids in it for cleaning. I just have my, um, you know, laundry liquids and these juice dispensers, which I love so much. I do utilize these shelves, even though it's, you know, kind of narrow in there. Then up here I just have, you know, toiletries, towels, uh, washcloths, tissue, etc. This closet has extra blankets because you know, homecoming, y'all. Turn up. <laughs> I don't like the yellow lighting in here, but um, everything else I did basically changed to daylight bulbs. But yeah, have blankets, iron, sheets. My hair stuff is down here. Um, and that's pretty much that. So let's go in the guest room and my bedroom and we'll wrap up this tour. So I love the guest room. This is one of my favorite rooms. Like I love the entire house, but this is one of my favorite rooms. So it's like one of the brightest. Um, and I think it's also because of the white in here. So I leave this plant here, which kind of just leads you into the color scheme of this bedroom. I like the plants on the um, landings as well. So this is the mostly white and gray room, which is what my old master bedroom or owner suite was. Um, so I did put my old queen size bed in here. Um, kept the linens white. I think it makes your guests accountable, but it still just looks really crisp and clean on your end. Um, overview of this room, basically around five o'clock this is the brightest room ever uh i love it so much so let's get into a little bit over here we just have the tv like i said jarvis he mounted them for me so if you're in the north carolina area like between i would say charlotte and raleigh 
ish, you know, give him a, you know, hit him up and let him know that you want his services and see if he offers them. So on the door, I just keep two robes. And I also, by the way, got these curtains from a really nice company called Nice Town. And here I keep my jackets. More pillows and blankets at the top, but mostly my outerwear and then my purses and stuff are over here on this shelf. So yeah, I did have to use this because my closet was not big enough. So yeah, that's that. If guests are coming, I do make space for them to put their items. I do have this body mirror in here. Um, this ottoman was in my old room. So a lot of this stuff was from my old room. The rug, side tables. I put a fan in here because I personally love a fan. Love this artwork. I did this about three years ago when I was first getting moving into my first apartment with my roommate. So then I want to thought about putting stuff on this wall, um, but I just haven't gotten around to it or found anything perfect, you know? Um, this bed could be better, y'all. Like, <laughs> I could have made it better. But um, anywho, y'all get the point. It's a nice little day bed. It has a trundle. The mattresses were sent by LOL. I did a video on it, and I just have these pillows here. Thought about throwing some orange pillows, but I just haven't committed to it. I do keep a speaker in here for the guests. They probably don't even notice, but um, you know, if anyone is coming, I'll let them know. I did decide to only do one panel and I explained in my vlog why, because basically, you know, this half is kind of cut off by the beds, so it doesn't need two panels. This used to be where I took all my selfies um, because again, I just love the brightness of this room. Then I keep a laundry basket here for them. And then their bathroom is where the orange comes in. So, yeah, I do have the guest rules up there. Um, I love this sign, I made it or whatever. I designed it and then I got it printed at FedEx. So, um, on top of the sink, I try to cleat, cleat. <laughs> I try to keep it pretty um, simple with stuff that they actually need and not too much decor but you know i just have the mouthwash and stuff and then on the back of the toilet have some decor but also room sprays and such and then over here usually i keep a different orange towel set in there but those are being washed right now so i just have that um and yes they can use those so yeah i keep two types of body wash a new bar of soap shampoo and conditioner and that's pretty much that um i love this ladder here which kind of has decor stuff they need extra toilet paper etc so this is the guest bathroom underneath um just have some like band-aids and stuff and over here there's some hygiene stuff So let's go to the owner suite, which a lot of people loved. Okay, so, um, hello and welcome to my bedroom. <laughs> so this is where the magic happens, AKA sleeping. So I love what I did here. I just love it so much. Um, definitely, I don't know, the whole house is really my favorite. Again, I moved in May, and I would say officially everything was done the day of the housewarming party, August 3rd. So, let's just go from over here. Let's just start. So, this is where my body mirror is at, and then I have a lamp over there. Um, my console also comes with the fireplace because none of the rooms in here had one i just have little pink baskets and stuff i'll get in depth you know later on then i have my tv of course and another mistake of <laughs> that i just used for decor that shelf is not supposed to be up there but you know it's cool um on top just my diffuser roku and all that stuff another dead plant but i like the leaves so over here is my vanity um and why is one open i have to dust this table so um yeah 
this is pretty much that the mirror is from impressions but the rest i'll tell you about later and let's come over here i want to change my chair out for the vanity but i just haven't gotten to it yet so my bed i knew i wanted my room to be the opposite of what it was before so before it was like white gray and pink now i wanted it to be mostly black and pink with some silver and grays in here so here we just have this like coffee table slash ottoman um which i thought i needed in front of my couch because you know if you're sitting there you're probably eating or on your computer or doing something so um this rug used to be in my living room but it was like it was really really big and i didn't really like the texture of it in the living room but i love it in here so um yeah just have same old couch from before and um yeah then my bed i'll get into details later i have my laptop and stuff on the bed because i was doing work um i keep this tray here with the remotes to the playstation the tv the roku the bed and to another one for the tv and then i just have a candle there I have my lotions, deodorant, and stuff in that corner. And then I keep a water, my Apple Watch charging, and then my charging pad for my phone. Uh, these sheets. Um, I actually got these pink sheets from California Designs in, and I did a video on it. I'll be posting that soon as well. Um, I knew I wanted mirrors here on the sides of the beds, but I just didn't know what kind. These match the bed the best. Um, I saw some in Walmart, but I just didn't think it flowed with the room, but it was just cheaper. So I was upset. Then I just have this ladder shelf, which a lot of the stuff, if I had it already, like this shelf was in white, we spray painted it black. So it's good to reuse and, you know, just redo your stuff rather than buying all new furniture. So this is my bathroom, which has a huge mirror. Okay. Um, and it is a double vanity. Uh, the left side, I wash my hands. The right side, I basically brush my teeth and wash my face. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that. I tried to keep the top as minimal as possible. So let's go ahead and come on in. Um, over here, I have my face wash inside this right here. Then I just have, you know, oral care and eyebrow stuff. And then on this, I just have face cleansing pads, micellar cleansing water face brush you know just stuff for my wax center and you know stuff that i needed to get to and this is actually found at home home goods i do keep a lamp in here because it changes colors <laughs> just like the lamps in the living room um the light bulbs have the smart light bulbs and i can control it from my phone and i like to put that on um rather than the overhead lights because they're really really bright so if i'm taking a bath and stuff i do like to have the small lamp on that's why i have a lamp in here and then this stool is good because you should have your feet elevated when you're doing a number two. It helped. So I like having that. And then I just have, you know, wipes and sprays back there. Um, I did this and showed it on my design, my home decor IG. So um, I really like this. Those are actually curtain hold bags, but they look really nice right there. So in here, I just have my towels and stuff, but I also have underwear. And I have like pajamas and stuff like that. So I like having another like linen closet in my room. And I keep my robes in there as well. So then this is my shower and my tub. It's like the huge garden tub. So yes, and my pillow has fallen. But that's just a bathtub pillow. So yeah, that's pretty much that. That is my home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed you guys know I'm going to change some stuff around, um, but for the most part, I really love how it turned out. I'm trying to come from the light angle to give you guys, it gets really bright um, and the sun makes it really hot. So, oh, my closet. I haven't showed you my closet. <laughs> so basically... As you can see, my closet is smaller. So right here I have my jewelry holder. Um, did a review on that. It gets cold in here because it's a vent in here. But this is what it's looking like for now. 
and for a long time I'll have a separate tour about the details um just have my shoes over here most of them and that is pretty much it And this is why I needed to use the other closet for my outerwear. So I hope you guys enjoyed my home tour. I enjoyed getting it together. Uh, my room was the last thing to come into place because I just felt like everything was kind of little things that needed to find a home. So now I'm going to do the individual room tours. And yeah, again, I hope you guys enjoy.